Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Jensen, aka Jungle Naps, in the building. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you don't miss an upload. I upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so I've got plenty of content. Um, I'm really, really, really excited because for today's video, we're going to be doing a product comparison. I'm going to be comparing my favorite eye primer, the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eye primer. If you guys have been rocking with me for a while, you know that I always, always, always use this in my tutorials. It's just so good. It's never failed me. I've even worn eyeshadow to my spin classes. If you don't know, I teach spin class and I'm a face sweater. I just sweat all over my face. And this little primer has kept my eyeshadow looking bomb.com after an intense cycling class. So obviously I have a very high opinion of this. I'll be comparing this to the new Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's their eyeshadow primer in the shade Caffeine. This is more of like a neutral like shadow color for darker skin tones. So comparing these two babies and I don't know you guys like straight off the bat I'm just gonna say I love my Smashbox one. So we're gonna have to see if this can uh, step up to the plate. <laughs> so before we get started give this a thumbs up if you love product reviews and um Let's zoom you guys closer and uh, get this started. Whew. Okay, so I'm filming this a little bit earlier than I normally do and the caffeine just it hasn't kicked in yet. Um, also, a little side note, you guys, if you're looking on my eyes, they look a little bit more balder than they usually are. That's because I am sadly getting rid of my eyelash extensions i loved them so much um but you know what this opens up the gateway for me to try a whole bunch of new products for you guys so if you're interested in um just seeing a video on my experiences about my eyelash extensions let me know in the comments down below okay so this eye is going to be for the smashbox so let's put that on right now it's crazy like without my lashes i can totally get closer to my lash line with my primer these are like the little things that you don't realize you know <laughs> so that goes on like really nice and smooth it doesn't leave a weird white cast um and it feels kind of like tacky to the touch. Of course, we're gonna be setting this um, with a powder, so don't worry about that. This here is the Urban Decay, and that's gonna go on this eye. I've never used this before, so I don't even know. Okay, the color's not that bad. It's like a, you know, nice caramel color looks just like caffeine so <laughs> they definitely um picked the right name i'm not feeling the fact that the color is so bright on my lids this is the darkest color that i saw so you know how that goes so i also want to say it goes on really creamy and it's easy to spread with your fingers and then it does kind of like dry down to almost like a powder consistency okay so obviously I'm looking kind of crazy you guys but you can see the difference between the eye color the Smashbox one is more clear and this one definitely has a hue to it so now I'm gonna be setting that with um, my good old Laura Mercier powder and this is basically my skin color so it'll work just the same like setting with a flush toned eyeshadow so on this side the powder blends very smoothly, nice and quick and easy. I like it, I like it. Now let's try this side and see if it covers the color up. Not really, we can still see it there. <laughs> I'm thinking this definitely covers up any discoloration. So if you have veins or um, hyperpigmentation that you wanna cover up, the Urban Decay one might be good, but I'm a little bit worried because I want my eyeshadow to show up true to color, so we'll see. So I also might add just straight off the bat, you guys, um, 
This eye just kind of looks a little bit more powdery. I, I don't know how else to describe it compared to this eye, but you know, that's just right now my little first impression. We'll see how this looks. Um, I'm gonna jump into my beloved Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette. Oh, uh, if you guys can see it right here. I love this thing. It's Baum.com, and this is the color Royal Prerogative that I'm using. It's a really nice, rich brown, perfect for the transition area. So if any of you guys use the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer or the Smashbox, let me know what your thoughts are about these products down below in the comments. Um, you know, I always like to hear what you guys think about certain products as well. Now, for my main lid color, I'm jumping into my Z palette and I'm using Caramel from Anastasia. Next up, I'm dipping into the color Your Majesty in the Queen of Hearts palette. And just to show you guys that this is like true to color, I'm not gonna be using Fix Plus with any of my shadows so that we can really see how this performs. Now, this here is the color Duchess, and I'm really gonna focus this on the outer corners of my eye. For the inner corner highlight, I'm using the color Lit from the Tarte Pro Glow Palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes off camera, and then I'm gonna come back and give you guys a little bit of my first impressions, tell you guys what I think straight off the bat, and then of course, what would this video be if I didn't come back and give you guys kind of like a live staying power check-in? Um, because I think that's really what eyeshadow is supposed to do. Keep your eye color popping all day long. No ifs, ands, or buts. So let me go ahead and put some lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now that I have my lashes on, my initial first impression for the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion is that, you know, um, I'm not a really big fan of just the like color of it going on but I will say that it does make the actual eyeshadow color really pop more so than the Smashbox primer on the other hand the Urban Decay primer is definitely a little bit harder to blend certain colors and shimmers would just appear you know not as popping um, Granted, I didn't use Fix Plus, but I'm sure you could rectify that with Fix Plus. And um, yeah, I really just like the way that shadows blended with the Smashbox primer. It's just seamless, it's just really easy, and um, definitely the shimmers look a little bit better on that one. Um, now, as far as lasting power, let's see, I'm gonna come back in about uh, five or six hours and then show you guys what my eye makeup looks like and then I'll let you be the judge you tell me down in the comments what your thoughts on the uh, both primers are so yeah I'll be back in a little bit all right guys so I'm here for my six hour check-in I had to come out here in the daylight and show you guys uh, you know what it looks like so take a look at my eyes now, honestly, I took a look at this in the mirror and I'm just gonna say they are about the same. The only differences I saw were the ones that I told you guys about in my first impression during the application of it. But as far as actual results and how your eyeshadow holds up, I think that they're about the same. It's just a matter of your own personal preference, but my eyeshadow still looks popping on both lids and there isn't really a noticeable difference even the cakiness that I mentioned in the actual um, Urban Decay, you know, primer potion, I noticed that because I naturally have oily lids, it's not there anymore. Now, if you do have dry eyelids or something like that, that's something that you might notice would actually stay um, around throughout the day. But so far, I don't have a problem with it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Be sure to let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Just hold tight We're up at the moonlight Believe in the magic On 
inside We'll make it feel just right Just look at that bright light